All right, this one's gonna be on Sunflower FM. It is a dual panel file manager. Uh, a little disclaimer: I kind of know the you know the developer a little bit, so I might be a little biased. Regardless, I'm gonna talk shit anyways. All right, but take it out you know as you will. Um, I've never actually used one of these before, so the first time I used this, I was kind of confused also. But after using it, I can say that you can be really efficient at this, you know. I'll probably say it's geared towards people that uses the keyboard a lot, like people that use hotkeys. If you use your mouse, um, you're going to be really slow. So, I mean, you can still use both, you know, it doesn't really matter. But if you really want to be efficient, I'll say, you're going to use your keyboard. And I'll show you why here. So you have, you know, two you know the left here and the right here Th these ones are independent and when you navigate you can actually use um, you know tab between them so if I tab over here I can go down with my arrow keys let's say I want to go to downloads All right, tab back over here I want to go this one let's go to my scripts All right um, if I don't, if I want to switch places control U so these two are now swapped right you can see that there's swap places you can do that too uh... if i want to open a new tab for let's say this cron job folder control shift t open new tab for that now i have two tabs up here in the top right uh... if i want to switch between them with my hotkey i can go control tab as opposed to just the regular tab you go back and forth over here right um... so that one is control tab uh, wait, another one is um, Control W to close the tab. You want to do that? If you want to clone this, it's just Control T, and now you have two folders that are named scripts, All right? So that's what you can do there. If you want to open a terminal from here, we can go Control Z, and we open another terminal, and it opens to that location that we're at. So we're at the script folder, and it'll open it there, right? And it can go LS or whatever commands you do but control W close it and I think that's pretty much for that part oh yeah if you have like you know files let me give you an example let's say I want to highlight all the files that has SH in it so you see right here it says SH SH whatever I can go alt plus and I just select the SH only um, they don't really have an unselect so you can actually go control R to reload so that's how you unselect uh, that I know of so that's what they got for navigation wise um, let's get to the stuff that I don't like at the moment okay they do have this backspace here to go back right right to go back to a directory um, what else we got in here so you have like go back to a directory or anything like that now by default when you type in something it goes down to this this thing down here at first I thought this was a location path but it's not it's actually your command prompt which I did not know that um, if they actually put like a dollar sign there then maybe I would have guessed that but I, I didn't know that I thought this was a location path so let's say if I wanted to go to my beta or something folder I try to type in like beta right up, to go in there which doesn't work this is actually your command prompt like I said so if you do like an ls or something now if I do an ls or something right here it hangs it doesn't let me continue see it just hangs here you have to do like a refresh so probably a little buggy also um oh shit I think it closed that by accident open it again but yeah this is um you know your command prompt and you can do some basic stuff with it like let's say I cd into my downloads folder and then you can go to you know your downloads folder but yeah I, I don't think they should put that by default there and I don't think they should do like when you're typing something normally when I type in something I want to search for my f files you know that starts with that letter but if you do that here you just type in something it goes here which is very annoying I wish they have like a hotkey to go here instead of you know normally typing it and and it, you know it goes here so I, I really don't like that they do have a way to bypass that let's say if I'm on D here 
and I hold Alt key and I want to go to the S I can type in S and then I say the next one is T or something like that and I, and I can push enter the problem with this is um, you know their backspace is to go back a folder alright uh, and the Alt when you hold Alt you go like let's say P right let's say you mess up when you're searching down here right let's say you messed up if at any time you push the backspace you're going back a, a directory you see that so it makes no sense for them to put that as the default key binding in my opinion because that always bugs the shit out of me when I'm messing up so what I think they should do is rebind the backspace key to maybe the left arrow or some other key. Um, get rid of the alt for searching your files because that don't really make any sense to me. Right? Let's say you go alt, you know, s or something. I think by default when you're typing something, it should go to for the file, not go down here. Okay? So that's the things that I don't like about it. Hopefully they changed it. Because right here, right now, I, I think this bar down here it's pretty much useless because if you want to really use the terminal we're gonna bust out a real terminal you know we're not gonna do it from here which you know, is very limited and you can't even see what you're doing uh... and, and the terminal doesn't even load up really well so that's just my little thing with it can you fix all of this uh... With, by yourself yeah you could you, know, you can change like uh... the hotkeys to it but as of right now like the default the way that they have it uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. Another thing that doesn't make sense to me, or maybe they're gonna fix it or something, I'm not sure, is that you know how you can open a tab, let me see here, right click and without me right click on open new tab. The funny thing is uh in Nautilus it's the opposite of this effect, right? In Nautilus you can actually middle click to open a tab. In here you can't middle click to open a tab. You can actually middle click to close it but you can't middle click to open it so it's very inconsistent you know in now this is the opposite effect you can actually middle click to open a folder in a new tab but you can't middle click up top here to to close it so I, I don't know why man but so you can middle click to close it but you can't middle click to open it um, other stuff you can do say for example you can actually drag it like um, you know in your browser you can drag it if you want to do the dragging with your mouse but it's up to you right so those are my little things that I didn't like about it uh, hopefully they fix it and change it and as far as the hotkeys like I told you guys before you can actually go and change it I'll show you that in a minute but some other stuff they have in here is let's say you want to bookmark so right now we're in the script folder we can actually control D to bookmark and we'll call this I don't know scripts or something, right? Hit OK. Uh, let's go to a different folder like cron jobs. We'll control D to add a new bookmark. We'll call it cron and hit OK. And if you want to see your bookmarks, you can press control B. And these are our bookmarks that we just created. And there's actually a hidden one that they don't tell you, but it's your home folder, okay? Now the way that you would activate these bookmarks is Alt in the number. So Alt one is always going to be your home folder. I don't know. That's just the way they said it. Okay. Alt two is your second one that you know we created, or the first one that we created for bookmarks. I mean. So Alt two, Alt three, Alt one is always home, right? So that's how you can navigate between them really quick. Or you can do that from um, this thing here that you know for bookmarks. You can do it from here if you want to do that. Uh, even your mounted drives here if you want to go there, which I think I have. There you go. You can go there if you want. So anyways, that's for the bookmarks. Um, this one is the history. Any location that you've been through, you can actually go to it again. So you can go here, you can go here, you know, whatever it is. And this one is to open the terminal. So there you go. Okay close it. Uh, I think that's about it for the navigation part and the annoyance that I had. 
let's see what they have up here all right they have um, the preferences all right so stuff that you can display I mean you can go here and look at it this is not that important right now uh, terminal you can change the font size if you want to do that yeah okay oh yeah the toolbar here well you have to go and enable this thing first was it the view show toolbar and then you can go back in here and then add the toolbar options let's say you want what do we have in here like the home button so we'll call this I don't know home add the sucker save and now you have a button for home up top here so I can click on home and go back that's what you can do for there preference so let's go in bookmarks which I already talked about the commands here you can use any commands you want like for example what we want to do um, you can do bash command let's say for example I want to add I don't know let's say open pics uh, we'll use display how about that display and the default thing they'd use is percent s it means for a selected file so it only works on the selected file and save close so let's say if I select this um, oh, where's my pictures oh yeah let's say for example I don't know what we got here hopefully it's not a bad image so let's say I select the, that picture and I can go to commands and then open pics and there we go it opens that picture using uh, image magic display command whatever uh, so that's that I think what else is there and we did no I think that's about it for the commands you can use whatever commands you want like if you want to convert something or whatever you can do that other stuff that they have in here is plugins uh, I, saw, I saw it somewhere over here earlier yeah like uh, advanced rename these are some of the plugins that they have by default I can enable so if you want to you know change it to different case or whatever right this one's like capitalized or lowercase this one's for audio so any of your mp3s or something like that should work with your renaming I'll let you play around with that but yeah that's what they got for the plugins I think it's about it for oh yeah they do have this other one it's called fast media preview I, I kinda like this one okay so you see how when you go to different uh, pictures or I think even videos you can see that a little there's a little preview of it so I like that it's very quick too you know uh, so they do have a preview if you want to do that and what else is there oh they have this command bar if you want to do that I think it looks like I'm not sure what the program called but yeah I've seen this before somewhere anyways um, you know you want to copy move or create oh yeah that's the thing I forgot to talk about if you want to copy stuff you know you can do it from here or you can u use it from uh, your keyboard let's say this one I want to copy uh, selection what is this yeah selection 007 here control C push tab go over here push control V and you see you can copy this very quick and hit the copy and it copies it over here right um, so that's how you can do that very efficient um, yeah that's that's probably it for this program Let me see what else they, they have down here plugins like I said you can enable the plugins the key binding alright like I said everything that I was talking about about the the default key binding you can actually go in here and change uh, anything that you hate but in my personal opinion they should change uh, whatever I just said uh, earlier with uh, you know the alt keys the backspace and, and the, the terminal prompt that they have but yeah here's all the the key binding I suggest if you're gonna use this program learn it and uh, you'll be very efficient in it this one is the association is probably for yeah your your mimes here or your, what they call it memes or mimes and this is uh, your file association like your extensions and all that which I don't really have any to give you an example of but you can do that anyways very efficient 
I'm probably gonna use this um, as opposed to the other ones we're kinda slow now like Nautilus is very freaking slow uh, probably one of the drawbacks of this is maybe they don't have you know for connecting to a server or something like that I know some people use Samba and all that stuff so maybe that's not in here um, but check it out if you saw what you saw and you like what you saw um, but I would say you know people that use these keyboards probably geared towards people that use Vim or Emacs or or any of those uh, high key kind of person then this is probably you know the file manager for you to use that'd be it for this one